Okay, I just wanted to stop and give you the quick overview. You know, I just gave you strategies, and we gave you tactics, and we gave you some real-world examples. I haven't given you any bonuses yet. Well, I guess I gave you some before the class started, before we started the whole thing, but I've got lots more of those. But basically, what we're going to do is we're going to keep on circling around, and we're going to keep on going deeper and deeper on the strategies. I just gave you an overview of these, the strategies and the tactics, and I gave you a couple really quick examples. But we're going to be going deeper and deeper into all these strategies and the list building, relationship building, into how you create the conversation and the positioning, into the business launch and the syndicated launch. We're going to be spending more time in these tactics. We're going to be digging deeper into them and, and, and really showing you exactly how to do it. We've got real world examples from you know regular guy launches and mega launches, and we're going to keep on going. The, the, the ones I gave you were just really quick. Um, examples, a couple of quick, you know, the quick launches. But as we get into the bigger launches, you're going to see exactly how we plan out one of these mega launches or one of the internal launches, how we put together the whole sequence, how we sequence partners. And there's a lot more to be shared there. So we're going to keep on circling around as we go through Product Launch Formula 2.0, and we're going to be getting deeper and deeper and deeper. What we've done now is just scratch the surface. And of course, I've got all kinds of bonuses. Lots of, hopefully I've got lots that will surprise you um, so from like domain area experts, um, other marketing experts, web 2.0 experts, list building experts, just on and on. We've got all kinds of bonuses for you that I think you're really going to like. So basically we're going to be bouncing between strategies and tactics and actually showing you how we do that with real world examples. And then I'm going to be slipping in those bonuses as we go along. Okay, so let's keep on moving here. So this is our master template for the class. I'm going to be going through um, quite a bit of you know, each of these areas because the goal here is not just to teach you this stuff, but to actually have you create an entire plan, an entire blueprint for your launch to figure out exactly what you're going to do. You know, this isn't just about teaching you how to do this stuff. It's about making sure you actually do it. And uh, these areas, you know, this is a, you know, we've got goals and assets. And we're going to be going through these two very shortly, nailing the story and the offer and the plan, the, the launch plan and the pre-launch content and creating the conversation. You can see we, we've got a lot of ground to cover. And, in be and, of course, once you dig deeper in these mind maps, there's a heck of a lot more going on uh, behind the hood. Uh, or, or beneath the hood, you know. But I don't want to get too far ahead of myself and show you what's 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 behind all the curtains here, because uh, I want to get moving right onto launch goals. And launch goals—that's the first place I always start whenever someone comes to me to work with me individually or whatever. I'm sitting down to do a launch. It's like, what do I want to get out of this? So let's go to our launch goals. Okay, before you start planning your launch, it's very important to understand what you're after with the launch because you can actually fine tune the various strategies to get exactly what you want. So a lot of times I'll ask people what, you know, what, what they're after and they'll, they'll start telling me all different kinds of things and I'll say, hey, it's perfectly fine if you're after money here. You know, there's nothing wrong with making money. I personally like to make money. It's, it's very cool. It's a great way, even after you have a lot of money, it's a great way to keep score. Uh, I know a lot of entrepreneurs who really that's what it's about is keeping score. Um, so anyways, you know, do you want money from your launch? <clears throat> do you want to build your prospect list? Do you want to build your client list? I mean, the, these are two different goals here. And, uh, you know, if you want to build your client list, then um, often it will, it will change your pricing structure. If you're more interested in bringing in lots of clients or if you're interested in bringing in real high quality clients, that, that changes your pricing structure. Um, do you want to create additional products? Lots of times you'll do a launch and the launch will actually help you create a product. I did this with uh, my high-end coaching program a few years ago. It was really designed as much to help me build a product as anything else. Do you want to build JV relationships? I mean, do you just want to activate a bunch of affiliates and joint ventures and get them rolling, get them participating? That could definitely change the way you structure things. Do you want to create social proof? I know someone who's doing a launch right now, and his main goal, he's doing an internal launch, and he hopes to sell out very, very quickly 
to create the social proof for potential partners. So then he goes out to potential partners and he can have a real home run with them. Do you just want to make an impact? Do you want to change the world? Do you want to get the, get the word out on something, a new uh, whatever, a new product, uh, a new service, a new charity? I know one of the major political parties is getting ready to run a national campaign for a candidate basically through product launch formula. They have someone, they've hired someone a huge amount of money to, uh, to, to raise funds for them. And that person is, is uh, very well versed in product launch formula. They're going to be using product launch formula for a major political party to raise money for a national campaign. So the, so their launch is not about making money. It's not about, um, you know, it's not about selling stuff. It's about creating donations. And there's other, plenty of other ones that are like um, raising money for charities and uh, creating an awareness, creating education, spreading like uh, educational materials far and wide. So a lot of people are interested in these, um, you know, save the world, make an impact, get the word out type of launches. So, like I said, there's probably other goals you could have, but it's really under, important to understand what you're after. And you could be after several of these. You know, I just er, earlier I outlined, you know, like the idea of a seed launch, then an internal launch, then a big, massive JV launch. Well, each of those launches is designed to do different, different things. That seed launch could be to build your prospect list and create products. Um, your, your internal launch, well, that's to make some money, but it's as much to uh, to create social proof for partners as anything and to start to build JV relationships and partner relationships. And, um, wow, it looks like I've got a little typo there. Let's fix that. Okay, there we go. Hope that wasn't driving you too nuts. Um, and so basically it's a very important as you go forward in your launch planning that you understand what your goals are for this launch. And then if you want to step it out, say, okay, I want to do this series of launches and I'm going to have different goals for each one, that's fine. But for this this initial launch that you're planning, you absolutely have to make sure um, you know what your goals are. Okay, now you know what your goals are. Let's take a look at your assets because it's been my experience in working with people that they often underestimate what their assets are. So, Let's, uh, you know, th again, this isn't 100% all-inclusive. I'm sure there's other things on here that I don't have, but this is a good checklist to walk through to figure out uh, what some of your assets are. So first of all is knowledge. I mean, is this, uh, do you have knowledge in, in your chosen area that you can use? And, I mean, it's just, yeah, and there's here's, here's the saying that I like, it's, in the land of the blind, the one-eyed man is king. And so a lot of times people think that they absolutely need to be the world's greatest expert on something to have marketable knowledge, but that's absolutely not true. You just need to have a good subset of knowledge that is more than your average person in your niche. And then you can take that knowledge and use it any number of ways in your marketing. Now, next thing is product. Do you have product? Do you have like old products you could pull off the shelf that you could dust off and, and freshen up? Uh, do you have a current product in process, you know, that you're in the process of building? What do you have? I mean, what do you have for product? And this could be, this could act as a bonus. I mean, if you're in an e-commerce business or if you're uh, do, in an affiliate business, what can you create that could possibly be bonuses or bundles with the things you're selling? Uh, what additional raw material ha do you have? Lots of times people have all kinds of raw material sitting around their hard drive. They might have audio recordings or video recordings, so they have a book half written or a report 90% written that just could be finished up. Maybe it's not going to be your main product, but maybe it could be turned into a bonus or it could be turned into an upsell. Do you have testimonials and case studies? Or do you have the capability to go out and get testimonials or case studies? I mean, lots of times they're just sitting out there and they're almost done or, or you, you collected them, but they're sitting around in your hard drive and you haven't put them together. What do you have in terms of testimonials and case studies? And here, do you have raving fans that would give you testimonials or case studies if you don't have them yet? Now, this is one where people often mess up lists, customer lists and prospect lists. 
because lots of times people create lists and they let those lists go cold. So do you have any lists sitting around that you haven't mailed in a long time? Any lists that, you know, maybe you've even got lists of physical addresses, but you don't have it in a form that you can mail. I mean, can you get those lists and get them put together? Can you hire clerical help to, to, to aggregate those lists? Can you take a cold list and turn it into a warm list? That's really easy to do with Product Launch Formula. That, in fact, was one of the examples we gave with that Go Romance launch was mostly about warming up the list. The fact that uh, they made had a huge launch that made more money in a week than they had ever made in a, in a month, then, you know, that was the gravy. I mean, the idea for that launch was to rewarm up the list. Do you know people that have lists? Or do you know people that know people that have lists where you can put together joint ventures? Uh, do you have current joint venture relationships? Could those be expanded? Could the people who are joint venture partners, could they help you recruit other partners if you gave them a cut of the action, if they get, you gave them a second tier in commission? Do you have affiliate relationships? Do you have content relationships? I mean, this is where people that could give you content, that you could call them up and interview them, that you could have them write articles, you could pay them for content. Who do you know that's got content that you can find some way to put together a deal to get a, get some of that content you could, that you could use either as part of your product or you could turn into a bonus or you can turn into an upsell? Do you have uh, masterminding partners, brainstorming partners, relationships with people that can help you put together your story, help you put together your offer, help you brainstorm your product? These can be very, very beneficial. Do you have media or public relationships? <laughs> Do you have media or public relations relationships? That's probably not the most elegant turn of phrase there, but can you get PR? Can you get coverage? Um, TV, radio, newspapers, magazines. Do you know people? Have you, you know, ever done a story? Has anyone ever done a story on you where you can go back and get another story or, or use that contact to make other contacts? And then finally, do you have uh, presence in any forums? Do you have uh, forums or like the Web 2.0 social media places? Do you have presence on any of those, you have a presence in, in the, the top forums in your niches, on Facebook, YouTube, uh, MySpace, Twitter. All of those, pres the, the presence in those various areas, that can be leveraged as well. So now this is some pretty basic stuff, but I know whenever I sit down and walk through this stuff with other people, even when I walk through it with, my, with myself, for myself, if I'm going to do a launch, sometimes I'll forget about you know, really important assets, especially for me. I'll forget about stuff like this additional raw material or product, stuff I've created that I've got sitting around that I never released. I've got all kinds of that stuff. I've got so much content, I can't barely believe it. And lots of times I'll get into a launch, I'll completely forget about this stuff which we use for great bonuses or turn into upsells. So take some time and go through this checklist and think about what type of assets you can bring to your launch.